Last week we started in on a full stack application. This tutorial builds on that one, so make sure you follow it first. If you've gone through that one, you have a handy contact form at localhost port 3000 slash contact, which we need to make do, well, anything. We're going to start with some front end validation. There are tons of libraries in NPM that are available for this, but we're not building a bundled app and I don't want to get into working with Browserify or Webpack here, so we have two choices. Either roll our own or use simple script tags to import a library. Rolling our own would be its own set of tutorials, so I'm going with the latter approach. We're going to be using one called Pristine, which I like for a variety of reasons, but the biggest of them are that it's all vanilla JS, it compresses down to 2 kilobytes when gzipped, it's updated regularly on GitHub as of this writing, and it's really easy to use. You can download it or get the GitHub link at pristine.js.org. All you really need from the zip file or repo is slash dist slash pristine.min.js, which you should copy into the slash public slash javascripts folder in your project. Let's do all this real quick. You couldn't really see most of that, but note that pristine.min.js is now in our javascripts folder. Right here. Uh, we don't need to bother opening that. Close this, and let's get back to it. Our next step is to create a new file in slash public slash javascripts called site.js. This is going to hold our custom javascript. For now, just add this code to it. Good times. Don't worry, we'll be adding to that shortly. For now, let's import our two files by adding script tags to our contact form. Open up slash view slash contact.ejs, and below this line, add these two. And while you're there, find this line, and give it an ID like this. Save that file. Restart your server, or start it if it wasn't running, and head for the contact page. Again, I'm using NodeMon, so my server restarted automatically. Alright, ignore the fav icon 404, it doesn't really matter. You can see that it's logging our DOM is ready message. Good, good. Let's connect pristine to our form. In javascript slash site.js, remove the console log line, and replace it with this. That looks good. Save, refresh, and try submitting your form. You'll see that it returns valid, which seems weird since we're submitting an empty form. But that's because we haven't told Pristine what to check for yet. What's interesting is that Pristine does some validation out of the box. So for example, if we add ASDF to the email field and submit it, we'll get errors because that's not a valid email address. However, our fields don't have any minimum length or required attributes set on them, which is why it's accepting a blank form. So let's fix that. Switch back over to slash view slash contact .ejs, Find all of this code. And we're going to make a whole bunch of changes to it. I'm actually just going to paste this, and then I'll give you a second to read it. As you can see, we've wrapped our labels and inputs in form-group classes. We've added some minimum lengths. We've added some requireds and we've added a form-control class to each of the inputs. So yeah, that's a big change. Sorry, we have to use certain wrappers to make Pristine work properly. Now the last thing we need to do for this tutorial is update our CSS a bit. Open up slash public slash stylesheets slash style.css, and underneath the big hideous blob of CSS, add this new big hideous blob of CSS. Once again, I'm going to paste this. I strongly suggest you get this from the text version of this tutorial. Looking, uh, good? Well, anyway, save the file, refresh your contact page, and now submit it. You can see that we get red borders and responsive red error text as we make changes. Watch. Hi. Nope, still not long enough. Captain Code. There we go. Test. Test. Long enough, but not an actual valid email address. There we go. Hi there. All right. 
Neat. Front-end validation is done enough for our current needs. In the next tutorial, we'll wire up what to do when we have a submittable form. See you there.